Hey, what's going on dudes? My name is TDC and welcome back to my Minecraft world. It's been a little while guys and I apologize for that, but I've just been so sucked into the FTOG Qantas pack and I've been having a blast over there. So I didn't want to burn myself out too hard on basically vanilla Minecraft. So if you're unfamiliar with that mod pack that we're playing over there on the FTOG server, it's called Qantas. And it does like eras. So for the last few weeks, we've basically been in the coal era of the pack, and it's basically just vanilla. Um, so I didn't want to stress myself out about doing two different vanilla series basically at the same time. And so I wanted to kind of hold off on this series just so I could kind of breathe some life back into my builds a little bit more and uh, figure out exactly what we wanted to do. And I think that we are ready to begin. And it's going to be a lot of fun, man. It's going to be a lot of work, so I don't know how long this episode's going to be today because I have a lot of digging, a lot of digging to do. Um, we're going to start work over off in the castle, and where is my obsidian? Any stuff? No. Nether stuffs. There we go. Uh, so we need three obsidian, and we need some glass. I think we need five pieces of glass. I'm making a new beacon here uh, because we're going to need to make a new haste to beacon. And it's going to help us out quite a bit. So we'll do that like so. There's our new beacon. And that should be plenty of iron, I think. Uh, so we need four levels in total. But yeah, so we're going to be working over here in the castle. We're going to be working on digging out a bunch of stuff um, to do the grand dining hall. So I asked you guys about what we could do in these kind of spaces over there. And I had a lot of support about what we could do. And uh, I think the majority of the votes were for... <laughs> doing actual like dining rooms or like council halls and stuff like that so i think we're actually going to end up doing both um, but over on this side actually i think we're going to do on this side um so on this side what we want to do and i need to run around on the back side real quick to see about space i think we should be okay yeah, we got a lot of digging to do, but I think we should be okay as far as room and everything. But uh, what I want to do is I want to dig out like a big U-shaped room, and that's going to be our dining hall. So what we're going to end up doing is it's going to be, I think, on this door here and this one here. So like this is going to be in the middle, but this and this are going to open up into the same room. So we got to dig out like a big U-shaped room. Um, and it's gonna be a lot of work and then I think on this side we'll end up making like two separate rooms So I think on one of these it's gonna be like a council hall or somebody said it was a uh, oh, They they left a comment, but I can't remember the name of the actual room itself, but it's like a It's a room where all like the higher power of the government and stuff meet up and they make like decisions and all that kind of cool stuff So I think that's what we're gonna do on one of those sides. So it's gonna be a lot of work and I just want to get started on it start oh, I can't talk <laughs> um, we're gonna get started on it today and then kind of move on from there so we'll see what happens but I think I want to set this beacon up like right here in the middle and oh, does it show us on here if we set this down I can never remember how big the beacon actually needs to be so what is that Three by three, five, seven, nine. So I think we need to, need to do a nine by nine, right? So let's do one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I think that should be a full tier beacon, if I'm not mistaken. But we'll build it and we'll see. But I think that should be big enough. So let me do this real quick and then we'll come back and get everything started. I have yet to get the Beaconator enchantment. Create a full beacon. I thought I had done that before. But I could be wrong. Uh, but now we should have haste too. Yeah, and that's awesome. So can we do... Oh, we're still getting speed from the other beacon over here too. So that's nice. Uh, but we can start on this side over here. Oh man, it's going to be so much work. I will probably just do a little bit of it today and then I'll save doing a majority of it off camera because it's going to be it's going to be too much work for today, I think. But we'll see. Cuz I don't think you guys realize how long it took to dig out this entire thing here. 
like all this that we've done here, this took like I think about a week or so of just straight digging. Um, so it took way longer. That was even with speed or haste and all that kind of stuff. So let's just dig all the way through here. I want to see where it comes out at. So, okay, so this is over the back side over here. So if we come take a look, we go fly over this way. Yeah, fly, I say. There we go. So that's this area over here. And that's kind of what I was afraid of, is we were going to break into that eventually. I don't see... There it is. So that's where we poked out at. And that's not that big of a deal. But I don't think we really even want to go back that far. So I'd like it to be a little bit smaller than that. Just because we're going to have a lot of room horizontally. So we got it from this side here to this side over here. And I don't think it needs to be that long. So we'll dig. What is this? Okay, so I guess that's all part of this little area here. Um, probably want to get rid of that. Because I think this is going to be most of the building here. So it looks like we'll have a lot of... Ow! Um, <laughs> a lot of like building down to do too. So that's fine. Not a huge deal. But it's just going to be a lot of work. Ugh. I don't know if I'm ready for this, guys. This is too much. Okay, so here is one doorway done. <laughs> this one was easy um, because it was basically just open up. So that'll actually save us a lot of time on digging, but we still do have this huge chunk of rock over here we're going to have to get through. Um, I was waiting to see, is this water ever going to finish coming down? This is a pretty big waterfall here, but I went in and I plugged up the hole. It was right up there on top of that. I should have lit it up while I was up there, but I will save that for another time. It's kind of cool how it all runs down there into that little pond. But this area back here, man, is so dangerous. Oh, and I wanted to say thank you guys, too. I forgot to, uh, forgot to write the name down, but somebody left a comment last episode saying that all the enderman damage that we saw around the place um, is something that we can actually fix with a command block if we feel the need and I don't know because I mean like this is this is pretty messed up all back here and over there in that creeper cove that we were working on last time so I don't really know I <laughs> I hate to see our world just get destroyed by enderman damage so that might be something that we do. It would be kind of handy, kind of useful, um, and just keep the place looking nice. Especially since this world is as old as it is. Um, we got to try to do, I think, everything that we can to kind of preserve it as much as possible. So we may look into doing that a little bit later on. I don't feel, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. It's kind of weird doing command blocks and stuff like that in in this world just because this has been vanilla survival pretty much from day one but I do think it's necessary that we do something about the internet so I don't know we'll just kind of have to see maybe now that we're over there and it's all lit up we won't have as much of a problem but I definitely don't want to uh, <laughs> see a whole lot of that throughout my world so we'll see but uh, yeah let's get started on the other one over here let's do I want to do something let's do Let's come through here and see where this pokes out at. Alright, so that's about there. If we come out a little further. Because I don't think we really need it to be like really long. So let's say about like right here. We'll open it up. Where does this come out? How far back is that? That's probably pretty good. Sorry guys, I know it's dark. Uh, it's probably pretty good. A, this is going to be a decent sized room. But I don't think it needs to be as big as like the patron hall or anything like that. So let's poke through here. See where that comes out. I think this is probably a good spot. So there is the rest of the castle over there. So it's going to be like a huge kind of half circle room, right? And... Just in the middle, we're going to have like a big, big open, I don't know, 
Fourier type thing. Uh, I think if we dig, whoa! Oh, <laughs> this is so scary. Um, where did we come out at over there? I guess. Where is our other? I thought we dug a tunnel. Where to go? Slide all this up so nothing spawns inside here. Yeah. Okay, so we must have been like really close. So I think we're like right here somewhere. Oh, it's a little bit further down. Okay. So right there. Hmm. Yeah, we still this is so much digging. This side is gonna be solid stone, isn't it? Hey, uh, okay. Well, let's go see. I'm gonna go see if we can find something else smaller to do today, because I hate for this episode to be so short since we just came back. Um, we've been gone for so long, but let me see if I can find something else for us to do, and if I can't, then we'll come back and I'll probably wrap this up so I can get started on doing all this digging, because it's just gonna take so long, and you guys don't want to sit here and watch me dig for hours and hours on end, so... Yeah, let me figure out something else real quick and we'll be right back. Yeah, so I guess we'll go ahead. I know it was short, guys. I apologize for that. Next episode will be a lot longer and hopefully I'll have a lot more done. Like I said, I've just kind of been preoccupied with the Qantas server over on the FTOG group and all that kind of stuff. So hopefully next episode we will come back. We'll have a lot of stuff done. I'll be able to have this pretty much all dug out and we can start decorating and stuff in there. But uh, it's just this is all we really got planned for right now. <laughs> and I really want to get this all done um, but we have a lot of work to do so what I think we're gonna do real quick before we end today's episode is just kind of light the area up and uh, see a little bit about what we're working with here it is pretty dark and we got, there's just so much lighting to do there's so many bad things down here I need to go find if see if I have a super bow I've been using the bow and arrow a lot over on the the Quanta server because there is a mod called Quark and it adds a thing to the enchantment of infinity which I really wish would be a vanilla thing but uh <laughs> I think it's Quark anyway but it adds the ability to not have to have an arrow in your inventory if you have the infinity enchantment on your bow <laughs> that would be so cool in vanilla um, just that way you could free up that inventory slot and wouldn't have to worry about it but we don't have that here so it's a little unfortunate not much we can do but we need to get our super bow back going so we actually have a way of uh, dealing some range damage here because in areas like this where stuff spawns like way up top and stuff it would be nice to kind of take them out that way alright look at all this enderman damage this is crazy even over here Alright, so we get this. This is pretty well lit up right now. We still need to get up in there. I wonder what all that is. Or is that just light from where we opened everything? It might be from where we opened it all up. Um, but we also want to run over to Creeper Cove and lay down a bunch of torches over there. And I can kind of, kind of talk to you about some of the ideas and plans that I have for that spot too, which is pretty cool. You guys actually left a lot of really neat ideas that we could do for Creeper Cove too. Um, saying that we could wrap a bunch of stuff up kind of around here. Uh, so this is like kind of the top entrance to where Creeper Cove is. So if we come take a look down there is where all those creepers were before. Oh! Um, and we could do like some little houses and villages and stuff kind of hanging off the side of the side of the mountain here. And I think that's a really, really neat idea. So I'd like to be able to kind of go along the same style that we had for the, uh, the ravine over here well over here <laughs> and kind of have some bridges and stuff just kind of hanging off the side of the walls and stuff and wrapping up on uh, wrapping up around that area so I think that'd be a really really cool idea it's gonna be a little bit of work too but what isn't here in my minecraft world it seems like we spend more time uh, digging and moving things around than anything but that's okay <laughs> uh, so we need to light this spot up over here I was just over here a minute ago and it was filled with mobs so, but yeah, we do have a lot of work cut out for us here for the next couple of projects. And I also, I really want to start on our gold farm in the end. So that may be something we start to, we just got a bunch of really big projects right now. I'd kind of like to go back to uh, doing some of the smaller stuff, but we'll see how that works out. 
<laughs> but anyways, dudes, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here today. I'm sorry it was so short. I really do apologize, but we'll be back soon. It will not be nearly as long before the next episode um, comes out. So we should be all set. But anyways, thank you guys so much for coming to hang out with me today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button for me down below. And as always, if you have ideas or suggestions for this area or what we can do kind of anywhere in this world, make sure you leave it in a comment down below and let me know so I can start putting some stuff in the project book. I've got a bunch of stuff I got to add already, but as far as uh, we're, you know, we're always looking for new ideas. So make sure you leave them in a comment down below for me and we will figure it out. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like button for me down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Peace. Die. <laughs>